Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Introduction to PHP course. Uh, today's lesson is an extremely exciting lesson, probably my favorite of the whole course, uh, because we're going to be teaching you how to create your own user-defined functions, which is really going to increase your efficiency as a PHP programmer. Uh, specifically, we're going to talk about how to define your own functions and the syntax that's involved with that. We're going to talk about um, function parameters, um, which is ways to pass data to functions, and we've previously talked about that when calling functions using function arguments. Uh, we're going to talk about return statements, which allow you to return a value from a function, uh, because as we had learned before, uh, functions are expressions and they have values. We're going to discuss where to define functions within your PHP code, um, and that's going to involve a discussion of uh, the include once construct, uh, which is sort of an extension of the include construct that we've talked about before. And we're going to also talk about some reasons why uh, you use functions and, and why to separate code out into functions. Um, then we're going to talk about our, or make an update to our web application uh, version 10.0, uh, where we're going to um, basically extract, extract some of the code from it and put it into functions um, so we can actually uh, see our user-defined functions working firsthand in our web application. And then we're just going to quickly talk about um, when, when you do output HTML and functions, and then also coding convention conventions as it, as it relates to functions. Uh, so defining a function basically requires four parts. Um, it requires uh, the function keyword, and this is an example of a function declaration. Uh, you provide a function identifier or a name of the function. Then in parentheses, you provide what's known as a parameter list. We're going to talk more about that in a minute. And then you have, uh, just as like a control structure, you have a statement group and closed in parentheses, and that contains all of the code that, uh, that gets executed when a function is called. Um, and the function, um, this, this section of a function is known as the function body. The code contained in the function is known as the function body, and it can contain any um, PHP code that we've gone over so far and is allowed anywhere else in um, uh, PHP script. One thing to just mention is that uh, function identifiers or function names uh, follow the same naming rules um, as we have for variables and constant identifiers. So let's just take a look at uh, some examples of some basic functions and see how they work. Um, here we just have a, a, a sample script called functionexamples.php. And right here I have um, this function is an uh, example of the most uh, simple function. It's a function that when it gets called, um, it does nothing. It has no statements in it, which is a perfectly legal function. Uh, now, as we know, when uh, we call a function, it stops execution of the current script, goes, executes the code in the function, uh, and then returns a value to um, the script where it was called from, and then the, the script continues to execute. So here in this case, um, we've defined this function, and then I'm going to go ahead and just call it. And the way we do that is as we call just as we've been calling um, built-in PHP functions, we have the function name with the parentheses and a semicolon. Now this function does nothing, um, but it shouldn't cause any problems or any errors. And when we load the page, uh, basically nothing should happen. But this is just to demonstrate that a function can contain anything, including um, the lack of uh, any code. So if we load function examples.php, nothing happens. Um, the other thing we can do is uh, we can create a function um, that just has one statement in it, but it's an empty statement. And again, this is just to emphasize the fact that um, functions contain statements, and uh, they can contain um, any types of statements, including an empty statement. And if we go ahead and call this function, uh, we should receive no output as well. Go ahead and load the page, and nothing happens. Uh, so now we're going to get a little more interesting. Um, basically, we're going to have our function um, do something. We're going to create an example function that is going to actually um, output some PHP, or excuse me, output some, some uh, code via an echo statement. So we have this function called example 1.2. Um, and all we're going to do is simply echo a statement that says inside example and the function name. So when we go ahead down here, below the function, and we call this function, example one, oops, one underscore two, what's going to happen is when we reach this uh, statement right here, 
It's going to call the example 1.2 function. Uh, it's going to run the code inside of it, which in this case is just an echo statement. And it's going to echo that statement and then continue processing the rest of the script. So we should see this line output uh, now when we run the script. And when we reload the page, you can see the echo statement was output uh, that we had in the function.